Hey guys, welcome to today. Hope you're having a fantastic day and you've had a great week. We are actually just having a lazy Sunday here at home, uh, doing a few things around the house, cleaning up. Ayla is a bit under the weather and so she's just not really uh, in the mood to go out and do much and I do not blame her. So I've actually been doing a, a little bit of meal prep. So we've decided that we're going to try and meal prep on the weekend on Sunday and get as many meals as we can uh, ready for the week so that we don't have to spend so much time actually cooking during the week. Obviously the kitchen is a disaster right now. I just finished making this here. So it is like a cold salad, uh, pasta, zucchini, carrots, all shredded up, just like zoodles with chickpeas, sesame seeds, and um, this sauce right here is really good. And this is gonna be probably enough to feed us a couple meals of lunch throughout the week. And I have to say, it is very good. That is meal number one, and we're probably gonna make something for dinner tonight and then have that for tomorrow as well. But I don't think you guys wanna miss out on what Nova's doing right now. Hi. What are you doing? I thought you were jumping. There you go, okay. You're so cute. You look so good in that jelly jumper. Are you having a blast? <laughs> You're so cute. So we've had to install it down here on the main floor. And we've just done that for the first time because we wanted to see what it would be like down here. Because the only other place where we have actual door trim, because this style has to hang on it, is upstairs in the bedrooms. So because we're doing all this work down here right now, we wanted to give Nova a chance because she's getting bored of all her toys, you guys. We're gonna have to go shopping for a bunch of thrifted toys or something like that because I think she's getting bored of what she has. Jump, jump, jump. <laughs> Show me your moves. Show me your moves. One hold hand and do it. Oh man, I love you so much. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes. Hey guys, for me, I'm feeling sick again, which is very unfortunate, and Nova is congested too. That's a new record to be sick again after like two weeks. I am declaring official lockdown, except that's probably not possible. But we're gonna try to be avoiding germs uh, for a little while now. <laughs> right? Right? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yesterday was also the time change, daylight savings time, and I feel like it actually has taken a bit of a toll on us. Of course, she woke up an hour earlier than normal, and so just trying to like adjust with everything so that she doesn't go to bed super early has been kind of tricky. There's so much about parenthood that's about like timing everything around naps, but since we're not feeling the greatest today, instead of filming the day, I thought I would just sit down with you guys and share a little bit of what's on my heart right now. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I think that a lot of people can relate whether they can relate to my exact situation or not probably not but I think it applies to just life in general to motherhood in general to excuse you I think it's so easy for us to get caught up in this am I good enough am I worthy enough am I doing enough kind of attitude and I definitely am one of those people. Uh, our channel has always gone through like fluctuations. I don't even, like how long have we been vlogging? Like four years probably? Four and a half years. Yeah, four and a half years sounds right. Anyways, our channel always goes through these fluctuations and so sometimes we'll be doing well and sometimes we'll have like a dip in our engagement or our views or um, our traction, I guess. So of course, after Nova was born, who tutored her? <laughs> and so of course after Nova was born the channel was, had a lot of traction which is to be expected birth and newborn life like is very interesting to a lot of people it's very cool to see someone go through infertility and to like come out on the other side and it's very interesting and then lately uh, YouTube has been going through these changes where and I know I talked about this in a recent vlog but basically where um, they're kind of just like not really pushing family content as much and there are even troubles with like people seeing videos that they're even subscribed to or being unsubscribed and stuff like that anyways i don't know what it is if it's that if it's just 
people losing interest in what was going on over here or a combination of the two, I'm not sure. But I've been feeling very just kind of down about that portion of things. And I don't mean to sound like I'm complaining and I don't mean to sound like I'm not grateful for what I have because that is absolutely not the case. We didn't start YouTube thinking that it would be anything. We literally just thought it would be a cool way to document our IVF process, especially if we were to become pregnant through it and to just be able to look back on everything. And then it quickly became this way to have a community and how incredible it was to have people to connect to. And then it became like a huge part of our life, like an everyday humongous part of our life and I'm so grateful for all that it has given us. So saying that, I do feel very discouraged at the moment because of our engagement being down and things like that. It's hard when you put your like heart and soul into something and you work really hard at something day in and day out and to see it uh, just not perform the way that you um, want it to or hope it would or whatever it is. So I've been struggling with that for the past like couple of months. I'm working on it. I'm working on myself and on self-love to not let that matter. Um, I really am but I think it's a process and I don't think it'll happen overnight. It's something that like I said I'm working on. I am finding a lot of self-worth though <laughs> in other areas of course like being her mom um and feeling like we're doing a good job raising her and having such great like interactions with people who are here and like hearing your guys' stories all the time and talking with you and everything anyways i hope that didn't sound complainy i am very grateful for you guys i think it's just one of those unfortunate byproducts of social media so i think most of us feel at, at some point or another whether it's through comparing yourself to other people that you see online or whatever it is. This is what I genuinely love to do. And I know that having these memories of Nova, especially when she's little, are something that's going to have so much value to us. And I'm so grateful to be able to do it, to be able to stay home with her and get to spend every day with her. So, but if you're feeling the same way as I am, where you're just kind of caught up in that whole comparison game or wondering if you're worthy enough or feeling like you could do more or something like that, uh, just know that you're not alone in that. Anyways, I'm gonna spend the rest of the day just hanging out with Nova, cuddling her, uh, and we will catch you with you again tomorrow. Hi, Nova! Yummy! I saw you from across the room When I rest, met, I never knew feel this way and it's kind of strange don't even know your name hello sweet girl right for the camera hi ellie ellie got her hair cut she's looking fabulous so soft and very cuddly little miss nova is getting over her cold hopefully still a little bit sick huh yeah I am still getting over my cold basically I'm assuming for the rest of my life I will be sick when my children are sick because my immune system is just terrible so excuse the nasally voice hopefully we get a little bit better um, really quick because being sick is just the worst uh, especially because we were literally just sick and I can't live like this I can't live like this what can I do to help boost her immune system and my immune system let me know if you have any tips or tricks in the comments <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. As soon as I pull the camera out, she's like enthralled by it. Are you a YouTube kid? <laughs> I don't know if that's a bad thing. Oh, I found something. Look at those little chunker legs. Look at those little chunker legs. Look at those little chunker legs. So it's actually only like 10.30 right now, and we've been awake. For forever. For forever, huh? Still haven't adjusted from the time change. Waking up at like 5 a.m., 5.30. It's been crazy. <laughs> I literally feel like I should be ready to be putting her down for bed, but it's not even lunchtime. It's really throwing me off. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Who's that upside down curl? <laughs> she has been getting better and better at sitting up. Like, you're doing amazing, honey. You're doing amazing. There you go, nice. Last night, Ellie even came up on her own, not prompted at all, came up, licked at Nova's face, brought her toy to Nova and everything, and was like, excited to like be around her. We're making progress, we're making progress. We build a tower. One, two, oh, oh! One, two, three! Tumble, good job. I tried this on today for the first time. It's a little big. I had to roll up the sleeves, it's a little baggy. And it's only six to nine months, so we're in like that in-between stage again where we're getting a little bit small for the other size, but this one's a little too big. We'll just be swimming for a little bit. Good morning, sweet girl. You sound a little congested, huh? <laughs> Seeing your baby sick or not feeling well is probably like the worst thing ever. Wow, girl, you're looking, we'll just call it dewy, but we all know it's oily. <laughs> what is look at you? Cause you're the sweetest. Look at all this laundry that mama should do. Huh? Should I put that away? One, two, three. <gasps> What'd you find? Let's wind it up, okay? <gasps> okay, these little banana toothbrush things are hilarious. You look like you're just munching a banana. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's crazy. She still doesn't have any teeth. I don't think she's gonna even let me get in there. Oh, look at you do a snotty nose. Okay, while she's hard at work there, I'm gonna get her some food so she can munch. You like brushing your teeth? <laughs> I see you begging there. The past couple days, Nova has really been dropping so much food. She dropped like raspberries, she dropped like a whole one of these, like tons of stuff. And so Ellie is like definitely cluing in on the possibilities here. All done. The cutest little shopper at Walmart. Oh yeah, that's right. You are so cute in this hat. And this is probably my favorite sweater that you own. Mm-hmm, that's right. Got my pack mule right here. <laughs> Just came to pick up some things. You get the goods. We have a little art project for Nova. So we gotta go home. So we really wanna do it today, but I don't know. We'll see. Thanks to Daylight Savings, it is 5.30, you guys. It is dark out already. So excited because the Christmas lights are up. I am thoroughly excited for Nova's first Christmas. I cannot wait. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Alexa, pause. <laughs> Stop eating me. <laughs> I love that sound. I've just been in the kitchen chopping up some vegetables for dinner and I just hear these two just hamming it up over here. <laughs> you guys are so cute. Baby laughter. Baby laughter in the house is always welcome. <laughs> oh no. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, that's it. I'm done for. Yummy <laughs> chicken.